Over the years, I've had a couple of opportunities now to, to uh, participate in what's known as Strengths Quest or the Strengths Finder um, activities. And, and really, this is just a, a tool uh, from the Clifton and Gallup folks who that help us uh, identify kind of our strengths within this list of skills, right? So and, and what I really appreciate about the Strengths Finder activities, though, is that it really encourages you to lean into your strengths and not necessarily spend all your time trying to make up for your weaknesses and trying, kind of depending on others, though, to really cover those areas and really focusing on what it is you do well. Um, but really, uh, as much as anything, it helps us, helped me to I, kind of identify where my personality is at, what my skills are, and how that might fit into a larger career and a larger organization. Uh, because I'm somebody who really did struggle at times to find where is it that I fit in, in my career, and, and not only just what career should I pursue, but within that field. What do I do well and where do I fit within that? When I finally ended up in academics, which is where I've worked professionally now for uh, almost two decades, um, I found that I'm not really much of a researcher. I mean, that's not really my strength. There are other people who are phenomenal at primary research, which is a critically important um, activity and thing that happens, right? But not really where my skills are at. My skills are more in um, curriculum development and uh, faculty administration, staff administration. So those are the areas that I've been able to emphasize and focus on in my career field. Um, but just in general, I think that's true for every career field. You got to find, okay, what are my skills? How does that match up with this career field? And then within that career field, how does this, uh, you know, where does this put me in the larger scope of that field, you know, as, as I enter that professional area? So with that in mind, I'd like to take a look today at some of the key skills that I think are there for public relations people, for people, um, practitioners, people working in the public relations fields. What are some of the general skills um, that they need to have and that they should be focusing on? So I want to start, though, with a huge disclaimer and say, look, this is not a comprehensive list. I'm not trying to tell people what field they should enter or saying even if you have these skills that you'll be uh, outstanding in public relations or anything like that. And and certainly there are other things that are involved. Um, I'm just trying to give some general idea of some of the um, overall skills that are that I see are typically helpful for people working in the field of public relations. OK, so with that, let's take a look at some of the key skills for public relations practitioners here people working in public relations. Number one with a bullet, I think unquestionably is writing ability. As a public relations practitioner, you are going to need to write and write and write and write. And, and not only that, but you're going to have to write in a variety of formats and a variety of, uh, of types of writing. You're going to have to be able to write persuasively and write informatively and write in entertaining way, sometimes all at the same time, you know, in the same document it may need to be all those things, but other times it could be that you're focusing on one of those areas or those sub areas, you know, but whatever it is, we've got to have as public relations practitioners, the ability to write effectively, <clears throat> starting with, you know, putting together complete sentences and proper grammar and so forth, but also write in a compelling way and a clear way. And just uh, we've got to constantly be developing our writing uh, skills in general and then writing for different um, formats and channels and, and outlets and things. We've got to be able to, to shift those gears and and write differently. So I, I, writing is just to me the most critical skill that anyone working in public relations can and should have really. Um, so there are a lot of more glamorous aspects of public relations positions that people uh, want to look at and think about. But but really the heart of it, almost, you know, is is writing, writing and writing. Now, having said that, other skills are important as well. Presentational skills are also uh, important as a public relations person. You're going to be called upon to deliver messages in an oral way. And uh, so we need to be able to present well and just have some basic presentational skills. This is, again, not a comprehensive list, but just some basics of, of being able to speak effectively in front of an audience of, of different sizes and again, across different formats. And now we see not only are we presenting uh, face to face in a traditional way, but we're also called on oftentimes to, to present virtually. So and that's really a whole different skill set in some ways. So the ability to present effectively across a distance through a computer um, takes a whole nother level of things. So uh, but again, we ought to have some diverse presentation skills. So those two writing ability and presentational skills are are really core for anybody working in public relations at, at any level, I would say. 
Public relations folks also need to have excellent analytic abilities. We need to be able to think about things and think about them deeply and see things from different perspectives and, and be able to analyze things in a variety of different ways. And uh, public relations is a really diverse field and asks us to do a lot of different things, but we ought to have um, different uh, uh, analytical abilities. And these are important for a variety of reasons. They will help us increase our efficiency. They help with them with decision making. They make us better problem solvers, which oftentimes public relations is about solving a problem either for you or for your client or whatever. Um, so analytical ability is important to all of these things. The ability to uh, process information, whether it's data, whether it's, uh, it's qualitative information, observational information, whatever it is, to be able to process that information effectively, identify the key points and the critical um, aspects of that information, and then really make some determination about what should we do with this information. All of that very important. Uh, so analytical ability is also a critical skill for people working in public relations. Public relations practitioners also need to have a proactive mindset. Um, sometimes in public relations, we do work in crisis communication, which is very kind of reactive and, uh, and responding to a situation. But uh, whenever possible, we want to and prefer to work ahead of something, right? To, to, so that we don't get into that situation. We can avoid that crisis by being proactive, by trying to see, okay, what's coming? What are the potential consequences of this, both positive and negative? And how can we manage those things and, and, uh, and, you know, maximize the positives and minimize the negatives as much as possible. But we have a proactive mindset about these things, about thinking, okay, looking ahead in the, in the future, either the, the near future or the distant future or whatever, and, uh, and having a proactive mindset about how we can influence these things to a more positive outcome. Uh, we also do though, need to have as public relations folks need to have some grace under pressure. You got to be able to withstand some, uh, some, uh, some fire coming in, some incoming fire and, and, and maintain your composure um, when these things happen, when you're in the midst of a, of a crisis situation, um, you need to be able to stay calm and really address those, those issues and those situations and, and just whatever it's, you're going to be uh, oftentimes as a public relations person called on to do things at the last minute too. Um, it seems like everybody's got an emergency when you're in PR and they want you to fix it. So we need to have that grace under pressure to be able to work well when the heat is on, you know, when it's getting hot in the kitchen, we've got to be able to withstand that and maintain our composure and do effective work all the same. We need adaptability in public relations. And this, I will tell you, is one of my favorite things about working in public relations is that every day is different. Every day potentially is different. You never know what's going to come up. Uh, even when you think you know what's going to come up, it's something else. So we have to be adaptable. We have to be able to go with the flow, to be able to adapt to whatever is needed in that moment and, uh, and, and have that adaptability. Now, that is not for everybody. Right? I know some people who prefer, I want to know what's coming up every day. I want, I want my day to be basically predictable and the same in and out. And that's wonderful. Um, but I can tell you that is not typically public relations. Right? That is not how it works in public relations. You are dealing with all kinds of things flying in and people, again, people coming in with emergencies. And even when it's not an emergency, you just need to be able to, to shift gears well, to work on different projects as, uh, as it is needed, right. And be adaptable to the situation and to what is needed there. And then finally, we really just need a diverse skill set in public relations. You're, you're more likely to be a jack of all trades and a master of none, right? Um, although, you know, certainly in public relations, people do master some of these things. And so you may be a master of some, but all the same, you need to be able to do a little bit of everything from, from most public relations practitioners. It's going to involve doing a lot of different things. So it requires that diverse skill set. If you're looking at these and think, well, I can do this one thing extremely well, that doesn't mean you won't have a career in public relations. You can, uh, and you can find your niche there, right? But more often public relations practitioners need to be able to do most of these things fairly well and be able to do the rest of them, at least to a minimal level at a, at a you know, at a, at a, at a basic level uh, at the very least, but you need to be able to do a majority of these things. Well, really, um, we need that diverse skill set. Public relations, people have to be do, able to do a variety of different things and be comfortable doing that variety of different things, maybe without much advanced notice. Even. So um, that's a, a, an important aspect of working in public relations is that you have that diverse skill set.
Okay, with all of this in mind, I would really encourage you to take a few moments to think about your own skills. Think about that list and think about your own skills and uh, and how you line up there. Again, that doesn't mean that if you, there are only a couple of those things that you think, man, I really do that well, and the rest of them I don't have any skill at, that doesn't mean you won't or can't work in public relations. But it does mean you're going to need to maybe identify a position that that really only calls for those couple of things. Right? You're going to have to find the right fit for you. Um, but uh, and 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 think about how you can be most effective in that role then. But I would encourage you to think about your own skills, how they line up and where you may land in regard to uh, working in the field of public relations. If you have questions about any of the content here about what the skills are and, and what it requires to work in public relations, please feel free to email me. I'd love to hear from you there. In the meantime, I hope this has been helpful and informative to you as you think about what may be required of you and, and uh, what skills you may be able to bring to the table to be an effective practitioner in the field of public relations.